So, you want to be a hacker. Well, you're in luck, because I just so happen to be a hacker. But more importantly, an amateur YouTuber. But I'm a dangerous amateur YouTuber. And if you clicked on this video, then you probably want to be dangerous too. So here we are, a match made in heaven on YouTube. Is, is this internet dating? Oh, okay. All right. Well, this is the first video in a series of videos I'm making to introduce you to the cool, dark, damp world of hacking. This series will have videos that cover things like basic tool set, your methodology, the mindset of a hacker, everything you need to get started. Listen, by the time we get done with these first videos, you're going to be dangerous. We're going to drink so much caffeine. We're going to hack all the mainframes. It's going to be Watch Dogs 2 up in here. Just point your cell phone at the stoplight and hold X. But make sure to grab a buddy to watch this with too, because the more people you fit on a keyboard, the faster you can hack. It's moving too fast. Welcome to Mount Doom. My name is Sticky Bits, but you can call me Daddy, because I'm about to feed you some breakfast and take you to school. Run it. All right, let's get serious. You want to be a hacker? Let's talk about your new girl, Kali. Kali Linux is a Debian-based Linux distro that was literally designed for hacking. It's the industry's standard operating system for all things penetration testing and security auditing. Kali is built and maintained by a company called Offsec, which is short for Offensive Security. Everything about Kali is geared towards the hacking community. It comes pre-built with hundreds of tools, many of which are able to interface and connect with each other. For all you Linux nerds, Kali is pre-packaged with various desktop environments to choose from, including GNOME 3 and KDE Plasma. It's a Unix system. They have a mobile version called Kali Net Hunter for when you need your tools to hit the road, and they even have builds for ARM-based devices like BeagleBones and Raspberry Pis for when you need your tools to hit the underside of a table at your local coffee shop and stay there for a while. And all of this for the low price of free 99 Linux. Long story short, if you're hacking stuff, you're probably doing it from Cali. Unless you're some kind of multi-billion dollar nation state hacking organization with your own tools, in which case you're probably not watching this video anyway. Getting Kali up and running is pretty straightforward as far as installs go. They even have some pretty extensive installation guides on their website if you need some help. To get started, you can find the various ISO files on the downloads page at Kali.org. You'll probably want the first option, which is the 64-bit installer. If you're looking to just boot to a live version from a thumb drive or something, then you want the 64-bit live version. If you've never played with virtual machines before, you're going to need to get some virtualization software up and running first. Oracle VirtualBox does a great job, and it's free. If you're doing anything more advanced, though, I highly recommend VMware Workstation. You can pay the full price on the website for a license or get one from a super legal, totally legit wholesaler on eBay. But either way, if you want any advanced functionality with your VMs, you will not regret it. Links to both of those in the description below. Once you get it up and running, this is what Kali looks like. First and foremost, let's pick our favorite background, which happens to be the Hacker Dragon in a raining blue matrix. And let's take a look under the hood. Pull open a terminal. Control and the plus key will increase your font size so you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. Uh, very first cool trick I gotta show you. Let's say you're on a laptop somewhere trying to be sneaky. Maybe you're pen testing a bank or stalking an ex at her favorite coffee shop. I'm joking, don't do anything illegal. Anyway, let's say you're in a situation where someone may see your hacker dragon background and get suspicious and try to report you. Just type Kali undercover and watch your hacker machine turn into a Windows box. Now, when you're all done, just type mischief managed. Just kidding. That would have been cool. Missed opportunity, guys. Rerun the command Kali undercover and everything will go back to normal. I'm going to maximize this and hit control right arrow to split the terminal vertically. 
over here on the right, let's look at the release information by typing cat slash Etsy slash star Elise star. Oh, let's increase that for you too. You'll see here. Now, Cal used to be released in major versions, but now they have opted for a rolling release, which right here it shows indeed we are in Cali rolling. Let's also run a uname tack A to look at our kernel information. Now, like I said earlier today, this is really just based off of the Debian packages, but with a newer Linux kernel than you'd probably find in the Debian stable release. Let's run an ls tack l over here. You can see the home directory structure here, minus a couple of extra folders I've got there. Let's also run an ls tack l slash. You can see the full structure of the base directory. So nothing too crazy here. It's just your regular old Linux that you're probably used to. Let's clear that out and fire up Metasploit by typing MSF console. Now this takes a while to run. So while we're waiting for that, let's check out our applications list up here. This is where you really get to see what Kali has to offer. This thing is just lists upon lists of super cool tools. So here, for example, we've got them numbered. Uh, number one information gatherings. So you've got all these different categories of tools that you can use. Nmap's a really popular one. Um, DNS Recon is popular. So anyway, you've got all these cool these cool tools here. Enum for Linux. Um, under vulnerability analysis, obviously you've got some fuzzing tools. You've got Nessus. It's got its own category. Um, under web applications, Burp Suite is probably the one you'll use the most. Um, WP Scan's great for looking at WordPress um, applications as well. Database, password attacks, as if you want to crack passwords offline, you would use one of these. Or obviously you can always download your own Hashcats, really popular. Um, you've got John the Ripper right here. Um, it also comes with a lot of really cool built-in word lists. Obviously you want to beef those up and get some of your own, but they've got some cool default ones. This one, this uh, tool here called Cool will actually scrape a website and build a word list out of the things that it sees on the, on the website. Pretty cool. Online attacks, that means these will actually actively use your word lists to try to guess passwords on an active web server. So Hydra is probably your most popular one for that. Anyway, it's just completely full of tools. Here, exploit, exploitation tools, you're going to use Metasploit and Searchsploit uh, probably the most. It also has SET, which is the Social Engineering Toolkit, which is really great for like building um, phishing emails and things like that to social engineer the people. This one's more geared on tricking someone into giving you the password. Pretty cool tool. But you can go through and look at all these tons of stuff. Post-exploitation gives you some stuff to use on boxes that you've already pwned. So anything you've already got control of, you can further your exploits there once you're already on. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, I actually went back and re-ran MSF console in a full maximized window so you can get it in its full glory. Um, but this Metasploit is probably going to be your bread and butter in Kali, at least until you get comfortable throwing your exploits manually. Um, Metasploit is a framework that makes it really easy to find and throw exploits at targets. Uh, it also does a really good job of managing any sessions you might get from successful exploits. One of the nicest things about Metasploit is that it tracks everything in a database and keeps information really organized for you. So you'll see here Metasploit has some awesome banners. You can actually run the banner command. Oops, not banner. Banner. Oh, geez, there we go. You can actually run the banner command to get new banners. It's got a ton of them. Uh, some of them are better than others. Uh, some of them are awesome. I'm trying to find my favorite one. How long do I have to look? Oh, wake up, Neo. The Matrix has you. Follow the white rabbit. Not my favorite one. Uh, my favorite one is the Oregon Trail. There it is. This one's so good. Session one died of dysentery. <laughs> uh, health, overweight, caffeine. 12,000 milligrams hacked all the things anyway so obviously it's very like hacker culture driven um, software on Cali here so just to give you an idea of how this works let's load up a module and kind of see what that looks like you can search for any of the modules or exploits or payloads or whatever you need to use by just using the search command 
and then the thing that it is you're looking for. Let's look for Net API. It's probably the most famous and easy exploit to throw at a Windows XP box. Um, we'll start with that for now since this isn't like a full demo. Um, that's the one right there that we're looking for. So if you want to use that module, you just type in use and then the location. And now we are in it. That red indicator down here is what tells us what we're using. Next, you can type info and it'll give you information about the actual exploit, which is really cool. So it gives you the name, um, some information about it, the date that it was disclosed. The rank is how well it thinks it's going to work. Great is the rank that means it'll probably give you a shell if you throw it at the right thing. And that is how this kind of works. So you'll see this is a list of all the boxes that are vulnerable. If you're using or if you're looking at a Windows XP box, you can toss this thing. You're probably going to get a shell. Um, it especially works for certain um, service packs, but it's not important right now. So down here, it gives you a description, kind of tells you what the exploit is doing. Yada, yada. So if you type show options, you can actually see more specifically the different options that you can set for this exploit. So our hosts is you setting the actual target. So if you wanted to set that, you would type set our hosts 192.168.1.1 or whatever your target IP is. And if you run show options again, you'll see that that is now set as the target. So that's where it's going to throw the exploit. Once you're ready to go, all you do is type exploit, hit enter, and Bob's your uncle. It'll send the exploit. I'm not going to do it right now because this is actually pointing at something on my network, probably my router. I don't know. We're not going to throw it right now. Let's just exit. Now, let's say you need to have a little bit more control over your exploits and do things a little bit more manually. In that case, the first thing you're going to want to do is search in the exploit database for some proof of concept exploit code or a specific vulnerability. Um, let's do that right now, but for the same net API exploit that we just walked through in Metasploit, let's clear this out. To search exploit DB from the command line, you can use a tool called searchsploit. Let's see if it has anything on the most popular exploit on the internet. And look at that, it does, what a surprise. Um, in order to pull that down to your current directory or to your home profile, I guess, um, you just type searchsploit tac m and then the path to it that it gives you there. And that will copy it into, I believe, wherever you're at. So that copies it to your current directory. Then in order to look at that, you just type vim and then the file, which is this right here, and it pops it open. Vim can be very daunting if you've never used it before. So don't worry. I promise I will do an extensive tutorial on it very soon. Okay, so once you've got the code opened up, you can scroll through here. There's a few things that um, obviously it'll kind of comment, tell you um, what's going on in here. Some of them don't have any of that. Here you'll see the shell code. So we would build our own shell code and put it in here. Um, it actually has a comment right here that tells you what the command was that they used to run and create the shell code. So that's using something called MSF Venom. We will definitely be talking about that in the near future. Scroll down some more. You see some code for the actual exploit. Um, if you want to get real fancy, you can go through and change some of that. We're going to go to the very bottom here. You'll see this has some usage code here, which means if we just try to run the script, it will pop out with some instructions for us. So let's try that right now. Exit Vim by doing a colon Q. And we'll run this Python script right now and see what it says. And there's our usage instructions that it gives us. Basically tells you the example is to run the script with the target IP address here, and then either a one or a two for the one that you want to run. So we would essentially type Python, and we'll say we're running it against 1.1. And if it's a Windows XP box, which it most likely would be, we would type a one. Once you enter, Bob's your uncle, off goes the exploit, and you should have something opened up somewhere else to wait for a callback. That pretty much wraps it up for today. I hope this was a useful introduction to Kali Linux for you. My next video will be on how to develop your own methodology, and I'd like to do some tutorials a little more in-depth on some of the major tools like Nmap and Metasploit. But 
If there's a video or a demo that you would really like to see, please put it in the comments below. I would love to see what you guys are looking for. And in the spirit of transparency, this whole channel is really just a clever ploy to get you to come watch me and the guys play video games. We are online every Friday night at twitch.tv slash Mount Doom. That's also where I will be streaming live capture the flag events and some hacking competitions from time to time. So come check us out. Drop a like and a follow, and if you stick around long enough, you might just get lucky and see a hairy bagel or two. Well, until next time, grab a drink, go pop some shells, but just don't go outside. Dangerous. The sun's just trying to kill you. Peace! Get in there, get in there. They're rezzing. This is for the win, baby. Crack. Oh. Boom! Let's go! Dude, Mount Doom are the champions. Look at that. Oh. That's that's a quality of life change right there. Take a screenshot right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Magnifique! That is sick. Mm, what a game.